Hello and welcome to Mystic Visions with Dr. Shiny. This is a general tarot reading for Virgo uh, for the month of April. So hello fellow Virgos, I am a Virgo myself. And we are, um, you know, we're going to do a general reading here. So it's not going to apply uniformly to, to everybody in the same way. But if you are a subscriber to the channel, um, I will be happy to draw some additional cards for you at the end of the reading um, if you just leave a request in the comments, and I'd be very happy to do that. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with your reading, Virgos, my fellow Virgos. What we have for you today is the Page of Coins. Okay. Okay, so Virgos, what we have for you is this page of coins for your current situation. And that page of coins uh, represents a, a immature, you know, childlike uh, energy that is just started off on some business venture or um, uh, financial quest, right? There's a new project or something that you're trying to kind of foster or something in the in the physical realm that you're trying to develop or um, nurture, right? Um, but you're new at this and it's, it's difficult for you um, and you're not always extremely successful, but you tend to be pretty optimistic about what's going to happen here. Uh, what's crossing you is this Ten of Wands, which is a feeling of being over encumbered or having a lot on your plate, um, not feeling like you can get it all done. And um, the nature of wands, of the uh, you know action and doing, is that there is no end to the number of things that you might do. Um, you could do a, you know you could work till you're blue in the face uh, to the end of time, and you'll never get it all done, right? There's always something more to be done. Uh, there's more to do than can ever be done. I find it kind of interesting how often I refer to Disney movie quotes <laughs> in my readings. Uh, but that's the nature of it, is that there is uh, too much to be done. So you have to, if, if you're going to master action, you have to be able to prioritize to select what has to be done now or what, what cannot be put off. Uh, and what might be able to be put off till a little bit later uh, in the name of, of getting things done in a sense of urgency, you know, uh, prioritization. Some things you might want to leave behind altogether. Uh, in this particular artwork, there is a wand that is going to get left behind here because she can't carry them all. She's using her tail to carry one and not carrying it very well, but the the one on the floor is gone. And, you know, it, you've got to let go of some things to be able to, to do anything. Um, in, in terms of, like, politis, uh, political goals or activism, um, people who tend to try to care about absolutely everything don't tend to be very effective at getting anything done. Um, having a few goals that you are putting the majority, or a few or even one, goal that you're putting the majority of your effort into it tends to be more efficient and effective so um, try to focus on like what's really important what's the biggest priority and how can you achieve those things um, you're moving away from judgment uh, which means that you know in in the past there has been some consequences to the things that you've done and you've had to pay for those uh, um, You've had to pay those consequences. You know, you've had to deal with the results of your actions and things like that. But you're moving away from that a little bit, and uh, it's behind you. It's in the past. It's it's um, you're moving into a place of newfound uh, freedom, even though it might not necessarily feel like it. But that's what this new opportunity with this page of coins is all about. Is things are opening up for you a little bit, and you're also moving away from uh, a place of um, feeling judged or, or trapped or, um, as the product of your past, you know, what you're moving toward is this magician in the, 
uh, reverse. So on the one hand, that's good because you're moving toward a place where there's a tremendous potential for manifestation of doing everything that you want to do. But as the result of this sort of over-encumbered nature, um, you're going to find yourself struggling with this and and not being able to manifest exactly um, as much as you want to or as much as you're trying to. And this is what you're trying to work through, right? This is what you're actually having to learn to, to get to a place where you do have that power of manifestation that the magician has. Um, your foundation card or where does all this come from? You know, where it's kind of like, what is the universe trying to teach you through this situation? You have this, uh, seven of swords in the reverse. So normally the seven of swords would be kind of like feeling like you need to get away from, uh, from things or escape or, um, uh, having a secret, you know, being secretive or uh, undercover. In the reverse, this is about being authentic, about being true to yourself and not making apologies and everything. So you're kind of learning that. um, And part of that, you know, that that ten of wands with that over-encumbered energy, you may not have tried to take on all of those wands yourself, but people might shovel all those wands onto you. And so it's about... um, saying, you know, I make no apologies, I'm not taking all those wands, I'm just going to take the ones that I can manage, you know, and, uh, and you should thank me for it. <laughs> so that's kind of what's at play with this uh, Seven of Swords in the subconscious. It's saying, don't feel like you need to make excuses or get away with things. Um, you can be who you are and um, be unapologetic about it, right? And that's how you are able to achieve that uh, magician energy as well uh, by instead of capitulating to other people or feeling um, like you have something to prove, you are simply just being what you are. Um, And that happens to be somebody with the power of manifestation. (laughs) So um, what's in your conscious mind or what you're thinking about is this ace of coins, which is a, a sort of a new financial opportunity. So you are in a place where your mind is focused on that good things can happen, that good things can come to you, um, surprises can be good, uh, which is great. Uh, That lends itself to more success and uh, more, it's kind of like an abundance mindset where you're constantly opening the door for the universe to grant you um, this sort of manna from heaven type thing. Um, and, uh, it's also that you're looking for new opportunities and whenever your mindset is on uh, looking for new opportunities, you're bound to find them. Um, whereas when somebody's not looking for them, they're not going to find them. So that's pretty much just common sense, but you've got your head on straight here. Um, as far as what's on your conscious mind, having that, that new opportunity, but don't forget to also nurture the things that you already have going. Um, Instead of just looking for something new all the time, some new opportunity, don't forget to nurture the things um, that go the long way, you know, Um, the tortoise instead of the hare. (laughs) Uh, Sometimes it's a little bit of both, but, you know, just don't forsake this, um, the reliable tried and true methods to look for shortcuts and quick fixes. Um, for your advice, you have the Queen of Swords. Uh, the Queen of Swords is very um, intellectually gifted. She's very smart, and she is sometimes a little bit cold, but she um, she knows how to to use her mind to solve problems. She's not the biggest people person, honestly. People find her a little bit intimidating and... Um, difficult to negotiate with or get along with but there are ways at which you can use those tendencies to your advantage Um, but also that means knowing when to turn those tendencies off or when to um, to not expose people to that side of yourself Um, because it's a double-edged sword right so there's going to be times where that serves you very well and there's going to be times where it doesn't serve you very well and it's not about suppressing or hiding yourself but it's about having a good strategy in how you are utilizing your intellectual ability Um, and along with that magician um, comes the ability to kind of 
meditate or turn off that thought or that thinking. And there are times in which that is the best path forward for you. Um, and it doesn't mean, again, it doesn't mean suppression. Suppression is hiding how you're really thinking or how you're really feeling. Um, and what I'm talking about is being able to cease those thoughts, um, to turn it off. And that's something that you learn through the practice of like meditation, um, which is to resolve these things at the moment that they rise up within you. Um, your uh, environment card is the Ten of Coins, which means that there is the potential for um, a tremendous amount of financial success here, um, but it's not really working out the way that people want it to, um, and that's in your environment. So it's not necessarily totally focused on you, but somewhere around you or someone around you is not feeling as though they are fulfilled in a sort of financial type of dimension. Um, so that can be frustrating for people and they can kind of project those things onto you um, and, and that can affect you. You are always influenced by those around you no matter how, how much you think that you are not, right? So be careful with that, but... Um, Maybe you, uh, maybe they're asking you for more help and putting more on your plate with that Ten of Wands energy because they're trying to achieve some more success themselves, and that's certainly possible. Um, for your Fierce card, it's the Three of Wands, and so this represents sort of like starting something or, or making a choice or um, looking ahead into the future sometimes and... Um, and, and planning but you know the two of wands is really more of the planning phase and this is like putting those initial plans into action so you're quite comfortable i think with with the planning aspect but um with actually putting things into uh reality or to get the ball rolling is something that you're a little bit less likely to do um because you know it, it may be that you already have all of these uh, projects going so this could actually be a, a wise thing for you to have in your fears here um, you don't want to get more things going you don't want to get started on something else uh, but it, it also could be an invitation to realize the things that you do have going the things that are constantly on your mind and you might want to start putting some effort into getting those things going or make the choice to let go of those things as a distraction or as something that's going to sap your energy from other uh, things in life that are more important. So a little bit of a, a piece of advice there with your fears, but um, you know it's going to be ultimately up to you to decide what's worth pursuing. You know, um, And what you have for your overall message is the Three of Cups in the reverse. So the way the overall message works, it's, it's not like your future is set in stone. It is not that I am your puppet master and I control your destiny and I can tell you exactly what's going to happen. I can tell you right now at this moment a snapshot of your current situation and the direction that you're headed. Once you know that direction, you have all of the ability in the world to be able to change that direction if you don't like the direction that you're going. So what I do is to empower you with information about what road you're on. I'm giving you, I'm basically a road map and I'm giving you the lay of the land ahead of you in the direction that you're going. If you don't like that direction, you're perfectly free to turn or uh, change your course. Now, what you have in this overall message for the long-term outcome is this three of cups in the reverse, which means um, a lack of friends, a lack of uh, healthy emotional uh, fellowship with others. <clears throat> and this is um, probably, you know, some animosity from, ha ha you know, having to tell people, no, I don't want to. I don't want to do what you want me to do, or I'm not taking on any additional projects, um, or just from from kind of putting your own peace of mind first, or recognizing that you can't, you know, pour from an empty cup. So you may um, hurt some feelings in in this process, um, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, you know, me personally, I am very very content to. 
uh, to have solitude and not to be social or not to, um, you know, interact with people any more than I'm obligated to. And I certainly don't place obligations on myself to do those things. Um, so, you know, socialization and all that stuff, it, it is a good thing, and you may very much need and want that for your own mental health. But on the other hand, you can ask yourself, is this, you know, absolutely necessary for me, or is this becoming more of a hindrance to what I want to get out of life um, than a help? And uh, keep in mind that the way these things tend to work is there generally has to be somewhat of a balance in everything. There's never anything that is just outright uh, uh, able to be cut out of your life entirely. You're going to have to be able to, f to find some sort of a middle way with, with everything. Um, but, you know, that's just the direction that you're headed. Like I said, if you don't like that, you're very able to find a different direction. And um, there are consequences with every direction that you might choose. So just kind of think on that. But anyway, that's about it for the Virgo reading for this month. And again, if you are a subscriber, I would be very happy to draw a couple additional cards specifically for you. Um, so just let me know if that's something that you'd like in the comments. And let me know what you thought about the reading. And thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys next month with your next reading. Bye-bye.